everyone. It is actually day 104. My lights are off. I haven't done anything new since the last time, really. Um, but I have news. I'm upgrading this tank to a 20 gallon high. Um, this is a 15 gallon and I'm going to move this entire system into a 20 high and then turn this guy into a sump. So these are just the LEDs. I know you can't see anything, so I'm not going to update you guys. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the tank as is right now before the move. And yeah, we're going to get this done today. Um, I'm still having a lot of red slime. I will tell you guys that. Well, not red slime. It's a little bit lighter, so it's that other stuff. Not really sure what the name is, but you can see it all along the sand bed. So I'm de I've decided to go and go ahead and do the sump because I need more filtration in general. So the tank is asleep right now. I'm going to do the move now. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm actually moving it downstairs. Right now this tank is in my living room. So I'm actually moving it downstairs right there in front of my room. The reason is because there's tile down there and this is wood floor here. So I don't want to mess up my floors. I don't want to mess up my house. So yeah, 15 gallon nano tank, day 104. I didn't want to do it because I wanted to, I wanted it to flourish in this tank, in the 15 gallon, but I'm upgrading to a bigger tank. Um, but I'm going to keep everything exactly the same, I'm going to try to rebuild it exactly the same there, um, and then the sump should be up and running in the next update. I may even record the build of the sump. Um, now everything that I'm adding or everything I'm doing, the sump, overflow, all of that is going to be DIY. I'm going to do it myself. But uh, yeah, this should be a really fun process. I hate that I'm doing the move, but I love that I'm adding a sump system. So today is going to be a long day, um, but hopefully not too bad. Alright, see you guys later.